Today is February the 23rd, 2017, and um, I'm going to make another video. There are a few out there on uh, YouTube about the uh, the old uh, R390. There's also the R390A. This is the R390 made by Collins Radio. It's the older version. Serial number, uh, looks like 830. Yeah. Well, what I did is I added a single sideband adapter. I'm going to pull it out here that I'm showing you the front. I can do this gently. The uh, single sideband adapter is made by Treetop out of California. Right here. My good friend Mike Samra suggested I put this in here. Told me it would greatly improve it, and indeed it did. Thank you, Mike. I love it. I love this old receiver. It went in pretty much like the uh, the instruction said. There were a couple of things different about this one that you might encounter if you do this. They suggested running this cable right here in through this hole, and then you could run it around into the top of the IF section here. Well, it, there is actually no port from here into here. So, at least for now, I've run it over here into the side. Some of these days, I may drill a, a small hole and put a rubber grommet on it. I want to do it nicely. But, uh, <clears throat> and I do use the uh, this twin axe type connector. I actually bought one. You get a little bit better performance because that's the way uh, they suggest you align it, and that is the way I aligned it with this rather than this uh, this balanced input rather than this unbalanced input. This 125 ohm balanced input, actually just one side of it is grounded, but it does work a little bit better here. So that's the treetop circuits out of Canada, single sideband adapter for the R390 and R390A. I am very, very pleased with it. Let's see if I can uh, get it back in place here and show you how well it works. Excuse the uh, fumbling here. <clears throat> I need a cameraman, don't I? What I've got set up right now is a switch right here from the antenna. It just switches the antenna from the R390 to the 75S3. Uh, I'm comparing it to this Collins S-Line uh, receiver. Separate receiver, separate uh, exciter. There's the 30L1 amplifier. I hardly ever use it. Beautiful little amp. Very compact. It'll actually deliver 750 watts to the antenna. <clears throat> This isn't about that. This is about this R390. Oh, let me show you some other things I've done. If you notice, some of these, uh, some of the lettering here is a lot nicer than, say, some of this. It all was pretty dim when I got it. It really needed cleaning. And um, what I've done so far, and I'm certainly open to suggestions, is this is a um, oil-based white ink pen. And uh, I've already used one of them, and it's gotten kind of dry. So you can hear it shaking. But anyway, I uh, this one hasn't been opened yet because I've still got to do a little bit more work. But I rub it in there, let it dry for, oh, I don't know, 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And then I start rubbing it off. I'm not sure if I'm doing that the best way or not. Uh, I see some others that say leave it on, let it dry overnight, and then use a solvent to wipe it off. Maybe that's a better approach see this down here isn't the best it's definitely improved it but I want to make it beautiful anyway let's let's listen to it okay uh, we've got it on the R390 right now let's turn this one all the way down trying to move the camera slow don't want to make anybody dizzy and we'll uh, tune in this the same station on, on both oh you know what that is right there at, at 14274 you get the same thing down here at like 14, 13, 14. That's from your um, from your Wi-Fi router. Let's get a that's a good signal right there. Something not real strong. And so we can listen and compare them. If QSB won't take it out before we can tune him in. Fourteen two twenty five. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on. 
225. Well, so much for that. Okay, let's try somebody else. Unless he comes back here. Well, here's somebody preaching. That's good. Well, you don't have to be a fool just because you disagree with somebody. <laughs> There's some real characters out there. Let's find somebody else. Well, I can't find anybody talking long enough to compare them. My purpose is here is to show you that this guy right here is every bit as sensitive as the 75S3. It has a slightly different tone that sometimes I like better. There you go. That's one. Coming out of this six by nine speaker. Now let's go back to this one. There you go. Sounds great, doesn't it? This one's coming out of an old speaker up there. The output of this thing right here is 500 ohms. So you do need a matching transformer, and I do have a matching transformer in this box, 500 ohms to 4 ohms. Just a little guy. Very happy with this thing. Just absolutely love it. Stable as a rock. We got no complaints. Uh, the SSB adapter by Treetop uh, eliminated having to so-called ride the RF gain. The way that uh, a lot of people used it, the way I used it, I haven't had it a long time, but I learned pretty quick. You put it over here in MGC, which stands for Manual Gain Control, which is the manual gain control of your RF gain. And you were, you were just, that was an extra knob you were having to ride all the time because the AGC wasn't really good on the R390 or the R390A. This improved it significantly. Uh, just, a, just a magnificent receiver. I have gone through it. Very, very loving. Oh yeah, let me show you this. Besides the wire not going through that hole in the back like I showed you, what else I had to do, and I've already got this out. This is the IF amplifier section. What I had to do is they suggest you run the wire through a little hole that's about right here. It doesn't show the hole in this in this picture, but there is indeed a hole about right there. But you got to run that wire through to over here to here. Well, there's no port. So what I did is I took a um, like a five eighths inch uh, Greenlee chassis punch and I bit out a little moon shaped uh, uh, hole right there, if you want to call it a hole, a notch, a little uh, notch. And then I took a, um, a rubber grommet, you know, with a hole, and I and I put it there, glued it on, and cut it off flush so that the wire comes through here and, and is routed over into here through that little rubber grommet so it won't cut on this brass. This is actually made out of brass. And then, of course, all this, all this right here is actually mounted upside down in the chassis. So that's what I had to do on this one. The uh, wire actually uh, connects into this little area right up here. You have to lift a capacitor, like a 10 picofarad capacitor, and uh, hook it into the, uh, I think that's the BFO uh, section. This is the BFO right here. That was the only thing I actually had to do that was not in the instructions. And I don't know if I've given you uh, the best demonstration of uh, how this thing compares to the uh, a little bit more modern receiver, the 75S3. But anything I can hear on this receiver, I can hear on this receiver, they have a slightly different tone as I mentioned, maybe possibly just because of the speaker, because of whatever. But I love this guy. Uh, I don't know if and when I'm ever going to take this switch out right here, because I like to play with both of them. There he goes again. Let's listen once more. That's 255. Now listen to this receiver. 
One thing that um, this one has that the uh, 390 does not have, this one you has a genuine S meter on it. The R390 has this thing called a carrier level, which is pretty useless in my case. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I have a problem with it. I've looked into it carefully, but I haven't. I haven't gotten uh, any uh, really. I haven't made it work right. I don't know. If, I don't know. Maybe you guys know. If you know what I'm doing wrong or have any real suggestions, I would. Uh, I'm always uh, open to learning, and I always do learn from you guys on uh, on YouTube. So there, so there it is. Some QSBs taking it down. Well, anyway, if you're thinking about getting this uh, treetop um, single sideband adapter for your old R390, it uh, it definitely improved it. I'm very pleased with it. I'm not selling them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. But uh, it sure made it a whole lot uh, nicer and easier to, to tune, and uh, it did it, it just does a marvelous job there on the AGC. It doesn't change anything as far as the uh, AM portion goes, so, but I'm not going to go into that. So, hope this helps you, and uh, thanks for watching.